Okay, and we're live. Okay. Okay, welcome everyone to my uh, um, live painting session. Was painting with Alan. Gonna paint a nice um, uh, picture here. And no, um, I'm no, I'm not painting any portraits or uh, or drawings or. Or, or patterns, just uh, landscapes, just landscapes and nothing else. I'll do portraits in the future, but not all the time and stuff. So let's gonna get started, and here we go. Just gonna make sure we so live here. There we go. We're live. Okay. Just, just wanted to make sure. And uh, we will get started here. Let me just uh, put my uh, thing here. There we go. Any, any of you guys have any questions about my paintings, just let me know in the comments below. Or in the com comments chat, whatever. So let's get started. Today I... Gonna have the canvas with a little bit of uh, with a little bit of gesso here, and get started here with yeah, just get the paint on here. That's good, and yeah. So let's get started. All this white, the just uh, easy to brush here, so. Gets a little bit tangled here. Yeah, I mean, just to make sure there's no ins and outs, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. And we'll just uh, put our brush here and we'll cover the canvas with a little bit of gesso here. Make it nice and easy here. Yeah. Nice crisscross strokes. Yeah. We're doing a nice and easy here so we don't make any mistakes. We'll make happy accidents. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I was thinking about maybe making a few mountains houses or something like that who knows okay just graze the canvas a little bit so it doesn't like go out of, go out of frame you know what I mean think about maybe doing like some kind of snowy scene or something like that. Who knows? So, so we'll just uh, unwash the brush here. Okay. There we go. Into the brush bristles here. And just uh, make sure to get the old brush clean here. Uh, yeah. Get the brush all clean here. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Okay. Now we got all that squared away. Now we're gonna... Uh, now we got all that squared away. We'll just uh, make sure to put a on some um some like uh stuff here so now we're gonna add some colors today now which color should i use today i'm gonna use a little bit of the lamp black here and put it on the canvas here i forgot to do that in the beginning of the recording here <laughs> Okay. 
should be enough. I gotta get more paint at the store next time. Uh, it's really complicated to tell on these uh, marks, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, um, got that all squared away. Now, we'll just, uh, put a little bit of, uh, scarlet red on there. On our little, uh, little palette here. Uh, and maybe we'll just maybe, uh, we'll do a little like of, uh, a snowy scene or something like that or whatever and nighttime scene how's that nighttime scene yeah someone something with a lot of uh snowy and or wherever you live that's fine with you so let's just uh get a little bit of white here cleric white And we'll get a little bit of our video in green. Put that right here. Yeah, that works. And then we'll then we'll do a little bit of uh, our yellow ochre. Which I like yellow ochre a lot, but you have your own preference of colors. Yeah. Now and then we'll finish off the colors with a little bit of Prussian blue on Bob Ross's uh, signature colors. Yeah. And I can't have this without metallic blue. Well, do a nighttime scene or we can just do a some kind of a scene where that makes you feel good. And put a little orange here just in case. There. That should do it. That's in there. Okay. Let's get started. Now, for this, we'll go in our little brush here. And we're going to put a little orange here. And we'll go up here and we'll Draw ourselves a sun here, just in case here. So let's go take a sun. There. That's good. And we'll wash the brush a little bit. And we'll go back to our little brush and make a little bit of a that. Go to here and go to our little metallic blue and pressure blue to make a little bit of a sunset or whatever and stuff. And we'll just have put in the sky here. You're not decaying yourself, just... There's paint under the sun right here. Or It'll be a nighttime scene eventually, so... Yeah. Or whatever scene. Let's, let's put some water in the painting and show. You know, I'm a fanatic with water as well, too, so let's... Just go into here and that 
that's good. And the other side. Or some kind of scene here. We'll, or we'll do something with this scene. Who knows, right? Okay. With a dry brush, we're going to, uh, yeah. With a dry brush here, I'm going to uh, blend this in together. Use this one just in case. I'll just uh, blend this all together, so we have something beautiful here. to uh, build ourselves something great with this. So, going to go with the white and we'll put some, some you know, ochre and a little bit of red. Okay. Add that a little bit. And back. And we'll do a little bit of black here. Mix this together. Make a little bit of a... So, okay. Now make your big decision where you're going to... Mountain going to live. So it's going to go right... Hmm. It's going to go right here today. Let's go down like this. No pressure. No pressure at all. This had a little indication of a mountain. Okay, we have a little shape of a mountain. Now, with our little bit of a, with our brush here, we're gonna drag it down. Like butter. Yeah. Mountain scenes are really good on this side of the painting. Yeah. So I'll we'll just bring this down. We're not committed yet. Where's our little knife? Uh, here we go. Now we're just going to get a little bit of this stuff. Um, and, and a little bit of our green, I think. Yeah, green. So, going to mix this together. Make a good color, mountain color. And, and we're just going to drag this and put this down. like that green mountain or whatever you call it ok 
Okay. Take this with a little bit of blue. This will be a little shadow color here. This color here, just to spruce it up a little bit. Add a little bit of red. There. a little bit of that and let's just uh, add some trees to that so to that we're going to take our little uh, couple little inch brush here and get some trees going get a little purple here let's get crazy a little bit of purple Bit of this color here. Yeah, make a nice looking color here. And we're just gonna add some tree cations. here and yeah and let's uh, go in our little brush here and use the same color we've got here and it's hanging let's get an evergreen tree going or something like that and this is your this is your survival test. And we're just going to uh, do like so. And we're just going to tap down until we get an evergreen tree going. Yet, but you're getting close to what you're doing. Yeah. And now we're just going to uh, wash the brush again. Okay. Done. We're just going to going here with our little fan brush here take a little green add some white to it blue and we'll just put a little orange just in case to make a little bit of a surface color here a ground color here Let's go in here, and we're just going to put a grassy 
field here. Full is other stuff here. Yeah. It's pretty amazing what we can do with a whole bunch of other stuff here. Something like that, who knows? Yeah, I'll just a couple more colors. of different other stuff in this thing. So gonna get a little bit of this and put it like a bush here. <laughs> nice bush. And I'll push it here, why not? And we'll just uh, put some clouds here, just so it's perfect here. There. Looks perfect to me. And... Um, then we'll just uh, put in a little bit of indication of something else, but yeah, we have a little bit of time left, so let's just do a couple more uh, things here. Okay, um, we'll just uh, take this brush that we used on this uh, thing and go in an orange. Uh, I set together with a little bit of um, with a little bit of red, orange. That's good. I'm just gonna this have some six and twigs in this so we know this is a, a grassy field here and get our knife and just uh, indications here and we got to finish painting here so let's assign this sucker so we're gonna go with our little liner brushes and just load up our brush here a little bit of this 
I hope you joined my live session today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope to do more landscapes and other stuff. I'll do portraits in the future, but this is doing and go up here. And we're just going to write our name. Go. Hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, thank you for watching my live stream. And it was a lot of fun. It, it's been most challenging to do this um, painting, but it's pretty good. So let me know in the comments below how I did and how I. Did wonderful on this painting. And so, just to take a wild look at it. Pretty good painting for my sake. And hope you see in the next uh, live stream. So, all that. Um, Alan Moore signing out. Thanks for watching.